Hello and welcome to my next pattern tutorial with the Affinity Designer Pattern Template. Today I'm going to show you how to draw a wire mesh fence. Let's get started. Change the title by selecting the text tool with T. Type in wire mesh fence. Zoom into the drawing area, expand the drawing area, disable the sample text. Change to the document color palette and change the background color to, let me say, the screen. Turn on the grids while pressing command apostrophe. Select the pen tool, this one with P. Go to the middle and then I would like to draw, let me say, a line until this point. Go to the middle and this is the middle for this point and back to the middle. Select the corner tool, this one. Select the knot you would like to add a corner or edit the corner. to, let me say, 5 pixels, and this one as well, to 5, perfect. I would like to draw the stroke in a gray. And I would like to expand the stroke a bit like this. I would like to add a 3D effect so that it looks like a wire. That's already okay. Close. In the next step I would like to create a copy of my curve, which is not inside my rectangle. That means that I don't see nothing in the preview. I select the curve and move it into the rectangle. Change to the Move tool with V. Create a copy with Command J. And flip the copy vertical. Then I move this copy to the left while pressing Shift and the left arrow key or cursor key until this point. I create the next copy and move this one to the right. With the next copy Command J. I create this one and two more of this. Command J to this point and one more of this. Flip to this point. So let's take a look at the whole document. And what you can see is a nice wire mesh fence 
but you have to do the same thing like in my last pattern tutorial. We have to create some clipping masks. I zoom back into the rectangle and start to create my clipping mask. So this one, this wire should be over this one. So I select this curve, create a copy, Command J, move it to the top. And now I have to expand the stroke of this one. You do this with layer, expand stroke, and change to the knot tool, which is this. And I will add just one note here and one note here. All the other notes should be deleted. Let me zoom in a bit more. You can turn these anchor points to sharp knots like this. And you can delete this one. And if you now create a copy of this curve again while pressing Command J, you can move this copy into the clipping mask. And you have to delete the 3D effect and the fill color. Now it looks like this. And you should do that now on the other curves as well. If you like, you can create a copy of this one. Command J. Mirror it. Horizontal. And move it while pressing the Shift key to the right. And as you can see, it works. Zoom out a bit. And with this mask, you can create the second copy. Move it while pressing Shift down. And this one, this one. Another option to create a copy is to hold down the Option key and the Shift key, both. Get your finger up from the Option key, so it creates a copy. And hold the Shift key until you reach the final position for the clipping mask. Ah, that's not perfect. Hold Shift and move it up. Oops. That's not perfect, but we can change this. Let me say, ah, okay, to this point it's in between so this should match perfect this one is okay this one is okay and this one should be at this point so zoom into the rectangle that looks okay zoom into the whole document and let's have a look. Turn off the grid. So this point is a result of the stroke which ends inside my rectangle. So 
just one more thing we have to do is to expand the stroke. Press A, hold down Shift, and move the stroke a bit out of your drawing area. At this point, and at this point. Zoom out again, Command-0. Zoom into this area. Ah, okay, I thought uh, that was my fault. You have to move this a bit more. So that was the original position. And hold down shift, move it to this side and look at the purple helping guide. That is important. And on the top, I will check this out. That was the original po position. Hold down shift. Okay. Zoom out. Now it's better. Now it's perfect. And this one as well. These are the strokes on the right. Back to the rectangle. And as you can see here and here, you have to expand these strokes as well. So select A for the anchor point. Select the node and move it out a bit and this one select the node move it out a bit and this one look at the purple helping guides and nothing will happen This one should be okay. Okay. And this one. So zoom out last time. Press Z for zoom in. And now I'm ready. Press the Tab key, Command-0 again, and there you have your wire mesh fans. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you next time at Mensch Mesh.